What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Filmora tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys the two cool new plugins that Filmora has put out. It is the Blockbuster Volume 1 and the Blockbuster Volume 2. And this is a really cool effect that you guys can do on action movies, on action films. What you guys saw in the beginning of the video was what I created in Filmora. Of course, not everything, but the effects alone is what I created in Filmora. So as you can see here, once we download and install the plugins, I will leave them in the description of this video. So once you guys have downloaded and installed it, go to the elements right there and you're going to have a new little title right here that says Blockbuster. In here, you're going to see a whole bunch of elements or effects. So this is really cool. It's really nice. They have a whole bunch of things that you guys can use on your videos. So if we go through through some of these, like we have Blast. So if you click on one and you push the space bar, it shows you a cool little animation of the effect itself. So we have this one here. They have a whole bunch of different effects there. So we have this one here. That one would be cool like in a battlefield. So we have over here, these are the bullets. So this is kind of like a first person kind of view. This one looks like it's going forward as well. Uh, they have this one right here, kind of more spread out. This one's a little bit kind of all over the place, which is pretty cool. But this is what I have here. This is the effect right there. And this is the before, of course, nothing special. So you go to filters, you go to the film, the file film one right here. And from there, I chose the blue skies because this is filmed at night. So whenever you film at night, usually the color is kind of in the blues. So I chose the blue skies right there. And I go ahead and just drag that onto the clip make this a little bit longer so it fits the timeline and in the blockbuster elements I'm gonna go ahead and choose one this one looks pretty cool we'll add this one so once you click once you click and drag it onto the timeline it's gonna add it to its own track which is the elements track and when you go ahead and just drag that on there you guys can go ahead and move it to wherever you want so that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna end it there I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to split I'm gonna go ahead and delete this I want to add, or in the beginning actually, I'm going to add a, here we go, large scale. So this is kind of like a nice little particles effect to kind of give it a different look and feel. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that onto this side because if I drag it over here, it's just going to overlap it for some reason. I just don't know why it's so long, but I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag that kind of in the beginning-ish. So right there is where I want it to start. The bullets are going to start coming in, kind of flying through that little smoke area. And then it switches scenes and then it goes from the back right here where the motorcycle comes in. I also want a this one right here. So it looks like there's smoke or kind of like dust coming out. Okay, so I added this one right here as well, the dust kind of effect or the particles. Also guys, before you guys go, I want to show you guys a couple of more effects before you guys go. We can add some effects that I haven't showed you guys and they actually look pretty cool. So I just kind of played around with them just to see if it would work with this video. So I have the video here and if I go ahead and push play, uh, this is the effect that I added here. Of course, it doesn't look the best because, well, there's no transitions. I have I uh, added a fire and it looks like an explosion. And then we added a um, kind of like a lightning bolt towards the car, which looks pretty cool. This is one of my favorite uh, effects in the blockbuster elements. Depending on the video you're working with, like I said, the lighting and everything, you want to go ahead and change it to match the the actual video that you're using. So we have the fire there and if we go to the elements, you can go ahead and just choose different ones that you guys want just like that, which is pretty nice. I just dragged it down in the timeline and I added it so it just fills the screen. You guys can also move it if you want, but I wouldn't do that. I also added an explosion right here, which is pretty cool. You guys can move it around if you guys want. So that's pretty cool. Now my favorite one down here is the electricity or the bolt. Now the guy in the motorcycle is kind of following him on the left side of the screen. So it looks like he's throwing the actual lightning bolt at him and that looks pretty cool. So what I did is I just went and I deleted that. I'm going to go down and select the electricity 20, which is the one I used. You guys can cycle through them if you want. I'm going to go ahead and drag this right here. I believe here would be good. So move it to the time head. And then there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag this out, push play. And that looks pretty good to me. Like I said, you guys can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. So, I mean, that's a really cool way of doing it. Of course, there's hundreds and hundreds of different ways of combining these and making them look really good depending on the footage as well 
If you have a lot of movement, this is not really going to work for you. Be sure to download them. Link will be in the description of this video so you guys can go ahead and download and install them into Flamora. Like I said, they have a whole bunch of plugins or kind of elements in the Blockbuster plugin. I will catch you guys on my next video. Be sure to leave a comment down below, leave a like, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.